feels good to be back. So for those of you who follow me on Instagram will know that I've done like a six or seven day like social media uh, detox. Like if you're like me, then like 80 to 90% of the day, you're just consuming content, whether that's like YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, you know, all that lot. Like, do you ever catch yourself uh, like you're on your phone, like scroll, scrolling through like Facebook or just scrolling through a feed and like you snap out to it, think, okay, no, I need to get stuff done now. And then you put your phone away go on to computer and then just scroll through the exact same feed. Like, you know what I mean? You don't, you don't even realize you do it. It's just like autopilot. You automatically, when you're on Google, you just you type in the F of Facebook or the Y of YouTube. You know, it's just, you, you don't even know you're doing it. And obviously with my business being like mainly on like online, on social media, on the social media platforms, it's very easy to mistake like market research and like documenting the journey for like just being unproductive. Like, the amount of times I, I catch myself just thinking like, oh, just answer to this DM or I'll oh, just post this on story. You know, like thinking that like in the long run, it's like documenting the journey. But more often than not, it's just being unproductive and it's just a distraction. I also think that having time like offline, so like time to yourself uh, without all the stress of social media, even though your business is online, Eat, like having like that time offline just to wind down and like really get stuff done that is absolutely crucial and essential to running your own business and there's just so much that you can get done if you're not constantly on your phone so like after a successful weekend in london i uh, actually landed two extra clients or two new clients for my business so for you know what let's just take a few days off of social media stop consuming everyone's content and just really get you know like proper like hard work done so for the past few days i've been like of social media i haven't like put any instagram stories up i haven't posted on social media i haven't been like watching people on youtube i haven't been engaging commenting replying and none of that lot I haven't done anything of it and to be honest i've had so much like free time basically because like because my day is most most of the time i'm on social media because i didn't do that i had so much extra time to actually get stuff done for my business and actually if, uh, this week has been unbelievable i've got so much done and part of my business is now also automated like i've got all the clients up and running that uh, i've signed on with brand Paneer, and half of my business is now automated and like uh, what i was thinking about is uh, there's this picture on the internet where there's two guys and they both need to push a square object like over to the finish line. And the first guy thinks, you know what, I just need to get on with it. I need to, you know, push through. I really need to, to get this square or cube over the finish line. And the second guy, he takes a step back, looks at his, at his cube and thinks, you know what, if I sand down these corners, then I won't have a cube anymore. You know, I'll have like a ball and it'll be so much easier to roll over the finish line. And that's what he does. So like, at first, he's a step behind because, you know, he took a step back, he waited for a bit. But after that, like in the long run, like in the grand scheme of things, he was so much quicker because he just took that time to analyze things. And I feel like that's what I've done this week as well. You know, like I've automated part of my business and that is something that I haven't been able to do prior to this because I've just been, you know, trying to get on with it. And also, uh, like I've been reaching out to try and build like, a team around myself, which is like something I'm in the process of doing, just getting more people on board with Brand Paneer, just to like spread the workout a little bit. And I think that is much more, like it's so much easier to scale when there's more of you than just like the, the one person doing it, the one man machine. Anyway, that's not even what this video was about, but uh, because I got so much work done, I actually wanted to share some tips with you guys, like how I done it and, how, it, uh, how I could boost my productivity by like staying away from a few websites and a few platforms and stuff like that. And I'll probably like shoot myself in the foot there because if I do give you guys these tips, then you probably won't see my content. But to be honest, like if this can help you like live life on your own terms, or if this can uh, boost your productivity, then that's just a sacrifice I am willing to make. So first tip is for Facebook. Now, do you ever find yourself, you're going on Facebook and you think, oh, I'll just, just see if this business profile of, know some kind of business is up and running just see what it looks like and then 20 minutes later you just find yourself scrolling through the feed of facebook watching them random videos <laughs> 
and like it basically that's what I get caught doing quite a lot so I thought you know what the first thing I need to do is stop the Facebook feed from distracting me so for that I found the following app but well, actually it's not an app it's a plugin it's called the news feed eradicator and it's a free plugin for Safari and Google Chrome as well and you can actually access Facebook without seeing your own feed so you just get this like fresh clean decluttered version of Facebook and this way if you do want to search for the business or any like individual on Facebook you can do that without getting distracted. Second is YouTube like do you ever find yourself just uh, wanting to like search for a tutorial really quick or just like there's one specific video that you've got in mind that you just need to, to like look back on or watch and then half an hour later you're watching conspiracies of like 9-11 and stuff like that. Hi, I'm Robin and welcome to this first part of a series of videos we're doing on the facts behind the 9-11 attacks. Like that is something as well I also get caught up in. I'll go and look for something, see someone's like I'm subscribed to has got a new video, watch his video, look at the recommended list, click on another video and then two hours later I'm watching the most random videos on the internet. So anyway, there's a plugin for that as well. It's called Distraction Blocker and it's specifically for YouTube and what it does is it just exactly the same as the Facebook um, like newsfeed eradicator. It just stops you from showing the or sh stops you from seeing the recommended videos and your subscription feed. So again, nice, clean, decluttered version of YouTube. Now, if you still don't trust yourself with uh, like the other platforms, or if just blocking Facebook and YouTube is enough then you've actually also got self-control. Now this is another free app that you can use to blacklist certain websites that will not be accessible for like a certain amount of time. So you can decide for yourself how long this time will be. And I actually use this on a daily basis when I was in uni. I always used to block, um, what did I used to block? I used to block Facebook, YouTube, and also 9gag. Those were the days. And lastly, if it's not your computer, but your phone that is getting in the way of your productivity, then there's also an app for that. It's called Forest. Uh, now this is a paid app, but it's uh, and uh, it's, it is really effective. I'm gonna admit, like it, it does really help, uh, but it's psychological. So what you do is you plant a tree and set a timer for how long you want this tree to grow for. And the longer you leave it, the bigger it will grow and the more points you'll get. And if you go on your phone like before the tree is like fully grown, so before you time it, then the tree will die, and then you'll see like on your forest feed, you see that you've you've basically you've, you've killed the tree. So this last week I've just been on full on like airplane mode. Uh, it is the best way to go in the end, airplane mode, but I understand that some people don't really want to do that. So then forest is like the next best thing. Basically you, you can still, your phone's still on, but you can't really access it. So I uh, highly recommend forest as well. Not an affiliate or anything like that. I'm not getting paid for it. I think it's only like two euro or two dollars, whatever you're from. But yeah, highly recommend that app. So guys, hope you got some out of this video. Hope this helps. Highly recommend doing the like the social media detox for a few days just to see how it feels like. And to be honest, you won't miss a thing. Like does everyone's just going about their regular, you know, everyday things. And by just taking a step back for a few days, you will not miss a single thing. Also, I recommend two guys who actually recommend me do this. Ali and uh, Amir, uh, guys, thanks a lot, both of them run a successful agencies in their own country, once in Germany, once in Sweden, both done like the social media detox and it just said it paid dividends, you know, like the amount of work they got done without social media is unbelievable, so I thought to try it out for myself and I'm definitely going to do this again in the near future, maybe for a longer period of time or, you know, just see if I can find like a proper balance between social media and me get, getting work done. Anyway, hope you got something out of it. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.